Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to another day of distance learning. On Monday, we learned how to write a friendly letter. Today, we're going to learn how to write a letter for our mom because Sunday is Mother's Day and we want to be able to give our mom something special. I think you're going to enjoy this lesson very much. All right, let's review um, the different parts of a letter. Number one, we have the heading. What is the heading for? The heading is where we put the date. Number two, greeting. What do we write in the greeting part of a letter? You're right, dear mom. The body is where we write our letter. It's the most important part of the letter. The closing is where we write from, love, sincerely. It's where we end our letter. And last but not least, our signature is where we write our name. I want you to think about your mom. Think about what you want to tell your mom. How would you describe her? Like, is she funny? Is she smart? Is she caring? Okay, those are all the adjectives that we want to write in our letter. You can think of some more. Is she brave? Is she strong? Is she helpful? Okay, all of those words are words that describe somebody. The second bullet point, what are some activities you like to do together? Do you like to watch TV together? Do you like to do homework together? Do you like to cook together? Okay. Think about that. And then the last question, which I find the most important, is why do you love your mom? Okay, I want you to think through those questions because we're going to write a letter using these questions. If you need to pause here to think, you're more than welcome to. Okay, I'm going to move on. Here's your writing template, and Miss Lee will fill this out. And I'm going to write another letter um, just so that you guys have another option. You don't have to use this template. You can use your own. But make sure to have swag in your letters. It's very important that you capitalize the beginning of your sentence and have a punctuation mark at the end of your sentence and that your sentence makes sense, right? We want to present something to our mom that shows her that our brain is growing and that we're speaking in complete sentences and that we're smart scholars and we are smart scholars. So let's get started. Okay. Here's my writing template. It says dear. And then here I'm going to write mom because that's who you're writing to. If you call her something else, you can write that like mother or mama. You can write that there. Happy Mother's Day. I wanted to tell you how much I love you. I think you are. Smart, this is what Miss Lee's gonna write. Smart and really kind to everyone around you. I like when we go to the park together. I want to add in another sentence. I also enjoy watching TV with you and talking with you. Okay, and then I'm gonna write, whenever I need something, you are always there. I love you because you are always, I already used that word, so let's use another one. I love you because you are, I was going to say always there for me, but I already read, I already wrote that on the um, sentence before this one. I love you because you are always helpful. I have you hope, I hope you have the best day. And then here, that's my body, and here's my closing sentence. Oops. Let's make this smaller so that 
that part there will be able to show. Right, okay. Love. And I wrote love here simply because um, you guys love your mom a lot. Now, if it was a friend, I would say sincerely, I would put your friend. But here, since you're writing to your mom, I'm going to write love and then your name. Um, so I'm going to write Sally. Okay, Miss Lee's name is not Sally, but I'm using it as an example. Okay, so love Sally. Okay, so here's my example of a letter. You can write it as well. Now, I changed this. I should have made a copy of the template. Um, so let me go back. Actually, let me do this. I'm going to make another template here. So you guys can use this one. Move that over on this side. Okay, so I'm going to take some of this stuff out. I think you are blank. Because I want you guys to come up with your own sentences. I like when we blank. Whenever I need something, okay, so this is, I added that sentence there. I love you because blank. You can definitely use this template. Um, if you have a piece of paper, if you have a colored paper, if you have, um, let me move it over here, and then here's your closing, and then here's your signature. If you have construction paper, colored paper, regular notebook paper, that's all great. And also, I know a lot of my scholars like to draw on the side for border. You can do that. Make your letter look cute for your mom, okay? Um, I think she would really appreciate it. So, yes, you don't have to turn in this letter as a grade. It's We already did our writing activity yesterday. So this is for fun. I think that it would be fun for you to write a letter to your mom. Use this template that Miss Lee has right here to help guide you through writing, okay? Um, if you need help spelling some words, I will make another slide here. Okay, so here's some adjectives that you might want to use. Okay, so adjectives that describe mom, brave, smart, kind, caring. Those are the first words that came to my mind. You can also um, ask your parents to help you. If your mom isn't around, I think it would be great to ask, like, your dad or your grandma or another adult or sibling to help you spell some of these words out, okay? I know at school we write anchor charts and it's really helpful, but I hope this list helps you as well. If you need to, ask somebody, all right? I know you guys are going to do awesome with this letter, and we're going to do some more Mother's Day activities and writing the next few days to celebrate Mother's Day. I hope that you enjoyed this video and this lesson, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Miss you guys so much, and hope you have a great day. Bye.